Hi, it's Steph. Welcome back to my garden. This evening, my main walkway bed was looking really beautiful. I have a lot of cottage garden flowers in peak bloom at the moment, so I thought that I would show you what it looks like. So here's the beginning of my walkway. I have a Hanoki cypress tree in the background and some other evergreen shrubs. But my Nepeta, my cat's pajamas Nepeta, and my May Night Salvia is all in full bloom. And I love the contrast in purple. I also have a few varieties of iris and this one here was called whale's tail and it's now pretty much done blooming but there's still one here it's these two beautiful shades of purple a light lavender and a darker color on the falls I grew these iris, not these iris, I grew these foxglove rather from seed last summer and they look absolutely beautiful. Foxglove are a biennial and what that means is the first year you start the plant from seed, the plant just works on creating roots and foliage and then the second year it'll send out these beautiful bloom stalks. This here is an Asiatic lily that will probably bloom in the next few weeks. And going further up the walkway, I have a few more iris. This iris here is called First Pick, and it's a beautiful shade of purple with white falls. It has such a beautiful contrast to the dark red foliage of my Japanese maple. This foxglove is actually called Apricot Beauty and that was the mix that I grew. However, there is a mix of apricot as well as pink and purple foxglove. These are my double pink knockout roses, also looking beautiful. Pollinators absolutely love this nepeta. In fact, I find that the bees love any type of purple flower in my garden and they're always buzzing around. My candy corn spirea is starting to send out its blooms. I have these peonies that are called Bowl of Beauty that are now just past their prime. But they're a beautiful shade of pink and they're sort of a single petal. And that's what they look like inside. That's when they, what they look like when they're closed. Here's my gorgeous Sarah Bernhardt peony. 
And of all the peonies in my garden, this one is the most fragrant. It is a huge, fluffy pink bloom. This is what it looks like before it opens up. This beautiful peony is called Shirley Temple and it's a really gorgeous fluffy double bloom white with an ever so slight hint of pink like a blush. My Olivia Rose Austin is in bloom. And this is my most prolific David Austin Rose. These are some beautiful white iris. I don't know the variety. I bought them at a garden club sale. But they're beautiful. They're very dainty with a little bit of yellow. I love them. I still have one bloom of this Cantina Iris. This is a reblooming iris, and it's beautiful because it has almost like an iridescent sheen. All of my Purple Sensation Allium is now spent, but I leave the bloom heads up because I think they're so beautiful and offer a lot of interest when they move in the wind. These foxglove right now are the star of the show in this bed. They almost have an ombre effect in the way that the color goes from a darker shade to a lighter shade. My Wine and Roses Wygela is also in full bloom.
Thank you so much for joining me on this short cottage garden walkway tour. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next one.